Luck now is loses it. Watch out. He's going to time it perfectly. Picks it up. I know what he's going to do. He's going to take it to that left hand. I got to get up there, cover the cut, used by my wingspan. Special. Multiple effort on the play. Stops the penetration of Booker. Doesn't give up. Turns, elevates, blocks the layup attempt. That's big time by Young. Shot clock at six. Bryant for three. Puts it in. Kobe Bryant from downtown. And the Lakers regain the lead. Hey, y'all. So, I think it might have been a week ago, maybe. Whenever I did that ran on LeBron. I know it was post me coming back from California, but yeah, it probably could have been a week ago. I made a rant, and during that rant, I mentioned Kobe Bryant being the greatest Laker that ever played in L.A. And I got some pushback for that because many of y'all said Magic Johnson. Well, in this video, like, share, subscribe, we're going to figure this question. You know what? We're going to figure this one out. Yeah, we're going to figure this one out. I was going to say something different, but we're going to figure this one out. And here I go. All right. So the first person I want to look up is Magic Johnson. And we're comparing everything here. So I don't know why my computer's acting slow all of a sudden. But then again, it does that. It's been acting slow ever since the day I bought it. All right, so Magic Johnson. Let's go to all the career highlights right quick. Magic Johnson. Three-time finals MVP. Five-time NBA champion. Three-time most valuable player. 12-time NBA All-Star. Two-time All-Star game MVP. Nine-time NBA first team. All-NBA second team. NBA rookie team. Four-time assist leader. Two-time steals leader. Part of the 50th and 75th anniversary. Number retired by the Los Angeles Lakers. And we're just doing NBA. We're not going to college. It doesn't even matter anyway because Kobe didn't even play college. Uh, Magic did get a championship in college at Michigan State. Most outstanding player. but And also both of them were McDonald's All-American. Magic averaged 19.5 points per game. 17,000 career points. 6,000 rebounds, averaging 7.2 rebounds, 10,000 assists, averaging 11.2 per assist, and of course, Basketball Hall of Fame as well. Now, and also College Basketball Hall of Fame, but can't put that really towards Kobe. Um, he does have a medal in Barcelona, of course, and a medal in the Tournament of Americas. Uh, shoot. What is was considered to be Magic best season? I don't know what is considered to be Magic best season. I'm looking at the playoffs for a while. Let's see here. Um, it's hard to really determine that. But anyways, as we all know, Magic was a point guard wizard. Not only was a point guard wizard being the commander and quarterback of the Los Angeles Lakers during the 80s, uh, he also can rebound. Uh, his best rebounding statistic was his third year in the league, averaged 9.6 rebounds. But then again, at six foot nine, he should be able to average 9.6 rebounds, but also he played point guard. And also, Magic's also claimed the fame that he was able to come in and play center when Kareem was out. Got injured in the 1980s NBA Finals and led the Lakers to a Finals win. Uh, his rookie season averaged 18.0 points per game, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, and 2 steals. While shooting 53% from the field as well. But in the playoffs, pretty much the same production that year. Then, like I said, they won a ring that year. All you old-time Lakers fans know. Averaging 18 nine assists and 10 rebounds and three steals, which is amazing, right? Right. Uh, so let's go to Kobe right quick because there are some things you have to look. This is why I have to tell the, the, the stands all the time because they always try to compare Kobe. Oh, Kobe didn't do this and do that. He also got to stand the, 
semantics behind why certain things happened during Kobe's career. Now, I, just, I don't know why I just realized this. Both of them were born in August. That's crazy. But anyways, uh, move on. Kobe is a five-time NBA champion. Two-time finals MVP, NBA most valuable player, 18 time NBA All-Star, 14 NBA All-Star MVP, 11 first teams, all NBA second teams, two of them, two time third teams, nine time NBA All Defensive First Teams, three time NBA All Defensive Second Teams, two time NBA Scoring Champion, Slam Dunk Contest Champion, NBA All Rookie C uh, Second Team, and part of the 75th anniversary team numbers 8 and 24. Both retired with the Los Angeles Lakers. And like I said, both of them McDonald's All-American. Kobe did score 33,000 points. Averaging 25 points a game. 7 rebounds per game. Averaging 5.2 rebounds. Assists 6,000. Averaging 4.7 assists per game. Hall of Famer, Basketball Hall of Fame. And he does have two... Olympic gold medals in Beijing and in London and then FIBA's American Championship in Vegas in 07. As we all know, Kobe was a shooter. He could shoot. He can drive to the basket. He was athletic. Now, he was athletic as Jordan, of course, but he was athletic. Uh, he played both sides of the ball. Not to say Magic couldn't play both sides of the ball. Magic was a steals leader, but as a one-on-one -on -one defender, He's not as great as Kobe was. Like I said, Kobe was on 11, 12 all defensive teams, first and second teams combined. Um, let's see here. What is Kobe's best year in steals? Let's look at here. Did I say slam dunk content? I think I did that. I feel like I missed that. I think even Magic even said. But Magic would be saying a whole bunch of stuff. But I think one time Magic did has said that he thinks Kobe is the greatest Laker ever. Uh, um, let's see here. One thing Kobe has over Magic, outside of defense and shooting, of course, and just being a dynamic player, going to the basket and jumping all, being athletic, um, Kobe did play longer than Magic, of course. But we all know why. Uh, Kobe, Kobe's best year steals-wise, he averaged 2.2 steals, in the 2002-2003 season play, while playing all 82 games, averaging 30 points. See, that's something that's missed on sometimes during the Kobe Shaq era. They act like Shaq was just doing all, some of these little stands, I, I know it's little stands. They act like Kobe was doing nothing and Shaq was doing all the work. In the season, the 2 3 Actually, when the Lakers first started winning their three-peat, I should say, Kobe, the first year of the championship when they averaged 22, and then the next year he just um, averaged 28.5, almost six rebounds, and five assists. The last year of their three-peat, 25 points, he played more games too. 25 points, five rebounds, but shoot. Five rebounds and five assists. Now, the next year when they didn't win, I think that was the year they lost to the Spurs in the conference semifinals, he averaged 30 points, almost got seven rebounds per game, 6.9. 5.9 assists and two-point steals was a career high while shooting 45% from the field. And also, that was his best year shooting from three, 38%. And... People forget about that. People all forget that Dell Harris didn't like playing rookies. So that's why he only played 71 games coming off the bench. He only started six times. He only got 15 minutes per game, averaging 7.6 points per game. But he only played one game. As soon as he got more minutes, started one game his sophomore season, but as soon as he got uh, 
minutes and more games played, his averages went up. But uh, as far as who's the greatest Laker ever, both of them got four or five of them rings. Now people can compare the finals MVP. Kobe only got two. Magic has three, I think. Is it three or four? I forgot already. I don't know. They both play in the back backcourt, but I know some people will probably put the rebounds per game or averages against Kobe. But again, then, then again, Magic, like I say, six foot nine. Kobe was only six foot six in a shooting guard. <laughs> Magic, once again, was a tall point, tall-ass point guard. Uh, greatest point guard ever. Some people consider, I think a lot of majority of people can ma consider Magic as being the greatest point guard ever. A lot of people consider Kobe being the second greatest shooting guard ever. As far as being the greatest Laker, it's how you perceive it. I had to go with that. I know probably millennials and Gen Xers will probably see Kobe as being the, uh, especially millennials, being the greatest Laker ever because they got to see five rings out of it. Um, can't really say they got the leap. Well, by the time, well, I don't know. By the time, well, by the time Magic was drafted to the Lakers, Kareem was, I would say, necessary going downhill, but he wasn't the same Kareem he was. Shoot. Nine, eight years ago when he was on Milwaukee. So, as far as leading the team, both of these, I would have to say, Magic and Kobe both led the Lakers. I don't know. Everybody gets so caught up with Kobe and missed shots and all that. That is what people get so caught up in. You know? Both of them won a lot. But I also had to say, Kobe won with less than what Magic did. The Lakers and even the Boston Celtics during that time were basically what stands like, oh, those were super teams, even though they weren't super teams in the way that they're constructed now. Both, most of these Boston Celtics and Lakers were draft picks and just fitting the right pieces together, where super teams now is a bunch of dudes clicking up with each other. I don't know. Like I said, uh, I know some of the uh, older Laker fans would consider Magic being the greatest or even Kareem. Or I don't know about Wilt. Maybe Jerry West. I don't know about Wilt because Wilt didn't spend his whole time there. Um, and I know people around my age or a little bit older, probably a little bit younger, probably would consider Kobe being the greatest Laker ever. I don't know. It's how you... I leave it up in there. I want to see what it says in the comment section. What you guys say in the comment section. I will leave it at that. Personally. Personally, I say it's close. But I don't have to. Do, I'm going to use the stand logic for a minute right here. I didn't get to see Magic play in his prime. By the time Magic was out of his prime, I was probably one, two years old. But I got to see Kobe from start to finish. And even though I, I call myself a Kobe Laker hater back then, I recognize real. And I lived in California um, when the Lakers uh, were going, well, when Kobe led the Lakers with Paul Gasol on back to back. So the aura around the Lakers during that time was Laker fans had something to be proud of compared to now. I Like I said, recently I just went back out there visit and everything and the energy is just not the same surrounding this Laker team of course because you know who's on this team but um, for me it's Kobe. I'm sorry. I'm not saying Magic sucks. I ain't gonna go with the Anthony Edwards route. I ain't going to say nothing stupid like that, but just from what I've seen and how I experienced both of these players, like I said, I couldn't experience Magic, but I definitely experienced Kobe. And I'm not discounting anybody who's older than me who got to see Magic. I'm not discounting that at all. To me, it's Kobe. 
but I'll see what you guys say in the comment section down below.